Imagine your home city on solid ground, slowly being swallowed up by the ocean. This ain't some sci-fi movie about the end of the world, it's the stark, sad reality of dozens of coastal cities around the world. Millions live on the edge, threatened by a double trouble, rising seas and sinking land. Remember, about 40% of Americans call the coast home, but human activity has taken a toll on the natural environment. Crowded cities like Beijing pump groundwater dry, causing the land to cave in. At the same time, oceans have risen 8 inches since the year 1880 and projected to climb another foot by 2100. The result? Cities sinking like anchors, with the future of millions teetering on the edge. This isn't just an environmental issue, it's a human one. Homes, businesses, lives, everything is at risk. The question is, can we adapt before the tide turns against us? Imagine the sands of time slipping away, but not into an hourglass, but into the rising sea. That's the grim reality facing Alexandria, Egypt's crown jewel of a city, now slowly drowning under the waves. This historic city, home to 5.7 million, is trapped in a vicious cycle, the Nile Delta eroding its land and the Mediterranean vengefully reclaiming what it's lost. It's a double attack fueled by nature's wrath and our own hand, a result of overpopulation and misuse of land. According to scientists, by the year 2100, a thousand square miles of Alexandria's land will be underwater. We're trying to get the required funds as the projects to protect the coastline are very expensive. Swaths of fertile farms swallowed by salt, concrete structures crumbling into the depths of the sea, and millions forced to flee their homes. Located on the island of Java, the bustling metropolis of Jakarta is not only a thriving hub for 10 million individuals, but a city in danger. According to experts, if swift action is not taken, the city could be partially submerged by 2050. A precarious mix of marshy terrain, the Great Java Sea, and 13 surrounding rivers puts the fate of this megacity at stake. It is projected that by 2050, a staggering 95% of North Jakarta will be underwater. North Jakarta is rapidly sinking, with a staggering decrease of 2.5 meters in the span of just 10 years. For now, this unsettling trend shows no signs of slowing down, as certain areas are experiencing a startling decline of 25 centimeters per year, more than twice the global average for large coastal cities. To make matters worse, Jakarta as a whole is sinking at an alarming 12 centimeters a year, with nearly half of the city now sitting below sea level. Next up, we have Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, facing a worrisome fate as it sinks at a staggering rate of 16.2 millimeters. According to the Climate Central's 2019 projections, the majority of southern provinces in Vietnam could be submerged by the year 2050. Even more alarming, in the next 50 years, a sea level rise of just one meter could result in 18% of the city being completely inundated by water. The consequences of this could be dire. The roads are flooded, it's difficult to, to, uh, uh, to move. According to one study, Vietnam ranks among the top five countries facing the greatest risk of inland and coastal flooding due to excessive groundwater extraction. Spotlighting the urgent need for action, in another sobering projection by Climate Central in 2019, a one-meter rise in sea levels by 2050 would result in 18% of the city and a staggering 39% of the Mekong Delta being submerged. The IPCC confirms this dire prediction, warning that certain areas of the city could already be underwater within the next three decades. Next up, we head to the bustling megacity of Dhaka, is home to 20 million. But the unsettling reality of this city of the small populous country of Bangladesh is sinking faster than most cities on Earth. It's not just the effects of climate change, even though Bangladesh bears the brunt of greenhouse gas emissions from others. The thing is, Dhaka wasn't built for this. It sits low and flat, a prime target for rising seas. 
and as more people flee the vulnerable coastal areas for the safer inland haven, the pressure intensifies. By 2050, scientists believe that 17% of coastal Bangladesh will be underwater, displacing millions. In a more recent news report, it was found that a significant portion of Bangladesh, almost 75%, is situated below sea level. Due to its low-lying position in the Bengal Delta, Dhaka is super susceptible to frequent flooding. Desperate to tackle these challenges, the government is now planning to build flood-resistant homes above water levels, as well as implement new strategies for collecting rainwater and protecting against the effects of floods and climate change. Now onto Venice, one of the most beautiful cities in Europe. The floating city. How Venice was built on water is a subject that fascinates and intrigues in equal measure. Yet, going by several predictions, Venice is now sinking, and has been for a while. According to a recent study, Venice could be underwater by the year 2100. This dire warning comes from a climate change study that highlights the impact of rising sea levels on the Mediterranean Sea, with estimates predicting a potential increase of up to 140 centimeters, or over 4 feet, in the next century, a direct result of the oceans expanding due to elevated concentrations of greenhouse gases, which are raising the overall temperature of the planet's atmosphere. As we focus on the urgent issues plaguing metropolises worldwide, there is a growing determination to combat and mitigate the impact. At the forefront of this effort is the UNESCO Land Subsidence International Initiative, dedicated to promoting reliable and practical knowledge about land subsidence and its role in sustainable development and prevention, while using this knowledge to work towards a solution. Other organizations have emerged to combat the potential dangers brought on by the increasing sea level. Among these is the Sea Level Rise, which prioritizes implementing solutions at the individual, local and federal levels to safeguard coastal communities. This includes not only rebuilding from past destruction, but also providing guidance on how to proactively prepare for future threats by equipping communities with the resources they need. If you want to know more about the effects of climate change on the planet, check out our video on tourist attractions that no longer exist. But before you leave, make sure to hit subscribe so you never miss out.